Uh, we are heading to Brighton now, not yes. the beach, but to a place that offers help to those with nowhere else to go. My name's Tim Worthley. I'm a GP here at Arch Healthcare in Brighton. It's one of the few specialist NHS surgeries in the country that exclusively treats homeless people. Every day here is completely different. We never know what we're going to be facing. Sometimes it feels a bit like working in A&E, so you can have people coming off the street with wounds, with blood pouring off them, in respiratory arrest. It always hurts around here. Yeah. When I cough, it hurts. We see a huge variety of people from all walks of life, people who have had persistently hard lives and experienced trauma, to people who we might consider to previously been quite high flyers, but who have had events in their life that have caused them to, to struggle. I had my own painting and decorating business, and then a relationship breakdown, and then after all that happened, you know, I found myself just on the streets. And what happened on Friday with the overdose? When I'm feeling like this, the, the way for me to sort of like cope with it is to sort of remove myself from like myself. How are we going to stop this from happening again? I've been homeless now for about 18 months. This, this section of the beach I've been sleeping up on for about three months now. Arch Healthcare is, is critical to me because life out here is difficult enough. And it's like sometimes things do get on top of you. Brighton has the second highest number of rough sleepers in England. It can sometimes be chastening when you care for someone and you think, I'm not so far from where they are and they're homeless and could that happen to me? I've always lived in London, always had a good life, worked 20 years in corporate, broken in trading, had a mortgage, had a dog, had the boyfriend for 10 years, went travelling for two years, broke up, come back, got in some debt and then I became on the streets because I couldn't find work. So why a surgery dedicated to the homeless? It can be really hard for people who are homeless to register with a mainstream GP surgery. They may not have proof of ID, they may not have proof of address, or their lives may be so chaotic and complicated that they, they just don't really fit into the normal quick 10 minute appointments. Okay, right, thanks Tim, thank you very week. much, All right, thank you. Without access to services like this, the consequences could be very serious. I managed to find the result of your liver. They couldn't find anything dodgy in your liver because that's what they wanted to make sure, mm. was that there were no tumours in there or anything. Okay. Especially in the recent hot weather. We had someone come in this morning with dehydration, with kidney pain, weight loss, and who'd been collapsing over the weekend. Um, we're rehydrating them over the next couple of days and they should be okay, thankfully. We've had people come in with blisters on their feet, with deteriorating kidney function, and with worsening mental health and physical health, all due to the heat. But sadly, in some cases, there's only so much we can do. In the last three years, over 50 of my patients have died, with an average age of around about 45. And that's not just happening in Brighton, it's happening in other parts of the country as well. This guy really sticks out. Um, just last year he died, 43 years old, and I actually saw him the day before he died. He'd just been evicted. He told me he felt like he was having a breakdown. He was terrified of being on the streets. I spent some time with him, did what I could, but we weren't able to help him that day. And then the next day we found out that he had died overnight. Um, I feel like we're pulling bodies out of the water as quick as we can and some of them we don't pull out in time. But as quick as we pull them out, more people are being pushed in. And you want to scream, stop, stop pushing them into this situation um, because it's getting impossible. Despite the number of rough sleepers in Brighton rising, the number of our patients attending A&E has fallen by 10% in the past year. I think the most rewarding part of my job is seeing someone who's been homeless seeing them walk through the door looking great. For the first time in many years, they're feeling hopeful for their future. I'm going through rehabilitation slowly, and it's all down to the Arch Healthcare. They've been absolutely amazing. 
I want out of this situation and nothing's going to fall in my lap. So I, it's only for me to, to work my way out of this situation.